<laughs> Justice. Okay. <laughs> no. So, Will Smith resigns from Academy over Chris Rock Oscar slap backlash. So, people thought he was going to maybe have his Oscar revoked. Um, I don't know if that was uh, all still going to happen. Will Smith facing possible expulsion or suspension after he assaulted Chris Rock during last Sunday's Oscar telecast has instead resigned from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. The move comes as the actor is embroiled in the gravest crisis of his life or his career and as the organization behind the Academy Awards has struggled in its attempt to deal with the fallout of the altercation. In a statement, Smith called his actions shocking, painful, and inexcusable, and said that he will accept any additional consequences that the Academy Board of Governors deems appropriate. The list of those I have heard is long and includes Chris, his family, many of my dear friends and loved ones, all those in attendance, and global audiences at home, Smith said. I betrayed the trust of the Academy. I should be doing this at, like, pretending to cry. I deprived other nominees and winners of their opportunity to celebrate and be celebrated for their extraordinary work. I am heartbroken. No, you're not. Don't even fucking lie. I want to put focus, the, the focus back on those who deserve attention for their achievements and allow the Academy to get back to the incredible work it does to create... Uh, to support creativity and artistry in film, he stated, concluding with change change time, change time, takes time, and I am committed to doing the work to ensure that I will never again allow violence to overtake reason. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> like you're going to stick to that. During this ceremony, Smith charged the stage and struck Rock during the broadcast after Rock made a joke about the actor's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, likening her uh, shaved head to the buzz cut sported by Demi Moore and G.I. Jane. Uh, Pinkett Smith suffers from hair loss due to alopecia. Um, I mean, just because she suffers from something, people make fun of, you know, people who have cancer all the fucking time, HIV, AIDS, you know, I mean, why should it be off limits? Because it's her his wife. You know, if, you know, if one thing is, you know, a sensitive topic, uh, and can't be, you know, used as, uh, you know, comic, you know, as comedy, then pretty much everything else is off limits. And then there goes comedy. So, I mean, it's not like it was like, oh, yeah, look at her with a fucking bald head. She looks like a fucking retard. No, it wasn't that. It's was, it was like, oh, yeah, can't wait for G.I. Jane 2. It's like, oh, boy, that was, oh, Chris Rock, you shouldn't have done that, sir. Um... The Academy later said it asked Smith to leave the ceremony, and he refused. Of course. Because I'm a black man, and I deserve to be here. However, sources tell Variety that the organization's leader has never formally requested he be ejected, and producer Will Packer urged him to stay. During an appearance on GMA on Friday, Packer said that he said he said Smith should stay at the request of Rock, something Rock's camp has denied. Uh, it's a very tangled narrative about what exactly went down behind the scenes, but it was certain that Smith ended up remaining at the Toby Theater, uh, where he went on to win Best Actor for his performance in King Richard. In an emotional speech, Smith Dean uh, seemed to try to justify his actions by saying that his outburst was a result of the same protective instincts that led his character in the film, Richard Williams, to push his daughters, Venus and, and, Venus and Serena Williams, to succeed in the world of tennis. His speech, initial failure to apologize to Rock, and his decision to attend the Vanity Fair party following the awards did not sit well with some members of the Academy. On Monday, Smith finally apologized to Rock, saying, I was out of line and I was wrong. You don't say. He added that he reacted emotionally because a joke about Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear. Well... Can we think about the times that maybe he's had a, a, a role where he's had to joke about others, you know, you know, in a movie or something where, you know, he's made statements like that too?
uh, after initially offering up a statement that said it did not that it did not condone violence, the Academy followed up with the subsequent statements that more forcefully criticized that more forcefully criticized Smith. Owen stated groups that Smith had violated the Academy's standards of conduct and that he had a 15 days probation had 15 days probation or 15 days to provide a written response. I was like seeing probation. I was like, why would it be 15 days probation? Big fucking deal. Uh, provide a written response explaining his actions. The organization said Smith faced suspension, expulsion, or other sanctions. The Academy's formal investigation and disciplinary, disciplinary process is still moving forward. One individual familiar with the... <laughs> I love that. An individual familiar with the situation. <laughs> Not a person from this group or anything, no. Just just a person familiar with the situation. So, rightfully so. He acted out of line. He did something over a fucking joke. And like I said, if, if uh, it's just a condition that she has, it's not that big of a fucking deal. You know, people joke about cancer all the time. People joke about HIV all the fucking time and AIDS all the time. So why is this suddenly a bad thing? You know, he's I'm sure he's told worse jokes before. But oh no, because it's his wife. So but like I said, right rightfully so. Um now I don't know if they're gonna let him back. Wait, what was this? Smith also acknowledged that his actions overshadowed other winners at the 94th Academy Awards. 94 years, Jesus Christ. Um, now, I'm sure there will, there, there will probably be a probation period where it's like for the next however many award ceremonies he's not going to be allowed. Um, and then after a certain time, he, he'll be allowed back in after they feel that maybe he's uh, able to control himself more. Because I really don't think that the, the, the hosts and the presenters should be banned from telling those kinds of jokes because they're not hurting anyone. Uh, like I said, if you can joke about, you know, everything else, you know, you take away one thing and then suddenly it's like, oh, well, now we can't tell a joke about this. Can't tell a joke about this. Can't tell. So like, where does it stop? Um, they should just do what they always do then. Just get up there, tell some fucking orange man bad joke and how white people are racist, racist and just fucking bugger off. Then everyone's happy. Then there's no complaints from anyone there. Because everyone's like, <laughs> orange man bad. So, anyone who's presenting or anything like that, if you want to joke, just stick to the stuff you know by now. The fucking orange man bad and all that other bullshit. Because clearly... Any other humor for you guys is fucking off limits. But there we go. Uh, he resigns from it. Like I said, I don't know if there's going to be some kind of welcome back period. Like, oh yeah, like a couple months or actually, what? How many are there a year? There's the Grammys, there's the Oscars, Golden Globes. Uh, so there's like what three, four a year or some shit. So, I mean, I would say, oh, yeah, you can be welcome back in three years or something like that. Because by then, that's like, what, 12, 15 um, award ceremonies that he's not able to go to? Fair enough. You know, I'm not saying he should be banned completely, but he, he definitely needs some kind of separation period. Uh, so, I mean, three years should be more than enough. I mean, that's just my opinion. But anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.